Everybody looks into swirl here. We are going to do um, another paint pouring today. I found this at Dollar Tree. It is a little basket for putting stuff in, whether it's, I don't know, cosmetic-y stuff for the bathroom or stuff for a junk drawer or, uh, I don't know, you could put desk accessory stuff in here for a office. Anyway, I thought, hey, it's got holes. So here's what we're gonna do. I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas, which means we need approximately 12 ounces of paint to cover that. I'm gonna put down a base coat of the white, which is one and a half times, one and a half parts Floetrol to one part paint. It's a little thinner. The rest of the pouring paints are one to one paint to Floetrol. And I did a test with this in the kitchen by filling it with water until it got to the point where water was going to come out the holes. Uh, it holds um, at least 22 ounces, closer to 24, but that was right on, the, right on the cusp. So we're going to pretend it holds 22 ounces. I really only need 12. So I'm going to eyeball it halfway. And then we are going to tilt and see what we get. And you know, if this is fun, we can come back another time and do the ends. We can put it up like this and kind of prop it up maybe and pour through both, both sides. But today we're going to do one side. Okay, so we are going to put paint in here and then we are going to tip it and see what comes out. <laughs> it should be paint. <laughs> Let me put down a little bit of a base coat here, at least on the corners and the edges. I uh, tightened up this canvas by spraying the back of it with uh, just plain old water. I have a little spritzer bottle. And then it, when it dries, it, it tightens the canvas right up. So that was, that was what I did before I turned the camera on. Okay. We are, we are working with the following colors today, no particular order. I have red, yellow, Artist, Flo, uh, Artist Loft Flow Acrylics, black, and green. I also have uh, Liquitex Basics Thalo Blue, Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue, Lacrylic Gold, uh, Liquitex Basics Light Blue Permanent, Liquitex Basics Brilliant Purple, Artist Loft Deep Magenta, and Artist Loft Silver. So we have lots of different colors. And we shall commence. Again, I'm shooting for about 12 ounces of paint, but it's going to be a guess. Yeah, I think we're probably good to go. All right, let's get these bottles out of the way and we will commence making a big mess on our canvas. All right, <laughs> here we go. Cameras are on, okay. All right, there's our remaining paint in the basket. That's so pretty.
And now we tilt. Here we go, folks. Tilting. That was quite the uh, sort of confetti pour, wasn't it? I like it though. Look at all the pretty colors. Let's see if we can. Most of this moved around before we start stretching things. There's a lot of paint here. I was probably well over the 12 ounce mark, but that's okay. This could produce some interesting skins. I have my Alole Vepe mat down below to catch the drips. One of these days we'll have to do a skins jewelry video. I'll show you how to use all these great skins I keep talking about. Um, well, there was the one where we made the skin specifically to put on the tumbler, but that's not what I'm referring to. This is the leftover paint drips. It can be reused after they dry on the silicone mat. I'm not as crazy about this up here. Let's see if we can shift things back up that way a little bit. It's not that I dislike it, but it's uh, that is interesting. There, a little bit. Let's move everything a little bit. Hey, looky there! That looks really pretty. Ooh. <laughs> I love it. Alright, I'll get my gloves cleaned up. We may do a quick torch, and then we'll go in for our close-up. I'm thrilled that the black hasn't taken over. I was a little afraid it would. I mean, I didn't use very much, but I thought it might anyway. It does that sometimes. All right, let's go in for our close-up. Lower right-hand corner. Up the right-hand side. All the gorgeous colors. I can't say that we hung on to any specific sort of pattern, but then I didn't really know what we were going to get. So it was an experiment. And it sure is pretty. Upper right corner. Across the top. Nice depth there. Upper left corner. Down the left hand side. To the lower left corner. And across the bottom. Get the whole thing in frame and focused. There you have it, folks. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Please share this if you liked it. Like, subscribe, leave me a comment below. I get very few comments. I'd love to know what people are thinking. At least I think I would. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video.